Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I've really been missing a curl since he's gone on his new adventure with Leo. So I was thinking, maybe I can do some water type experiments to remind us of him while he's gone. Professor World said I could use his lab for all my curl style experiments. While I get this first one set up, why don't you guys check out a clip of a curl in action? Roll it. Your best friend's name was Kuro. And you have water powers, which could be Aqua, Aqua and Kudo, Akuro. Do you want your name to be Akuro? <laughs> Does that mean you like it? Huh? A fire. It's spreading everywhere. Let's go. We've got to get out of here. This is bad. We're surrounded. What do we do? We're trapped in here. That's right. Akaro, can you put out these fires? Okay. All right. Let's do this, Akaro. Great work. You're amazing, Akaro. Think you can handle the rest of it? Well done, Akuro! You got them all! Watch out! That was awesome! I never would have thought of chopping something up with high-pressured water! Akuro! Okay, I'm all set up for my first Akuro tribute experiment. This one deals with water displacement and mass. Watch, right now, this side is heavier, right? Well, watch. Cool, right? Now watch this. Now, let's go back and forth, back and forth. Check this out. I'm going to balance both of them. Whoa, look at that. Perfectly balanced. Well, how does this work? It's because my fingers have mass. Each water cup weighs about the same, but when I add my fingers in there, this cup will have more stuff in it. So it'll weigh more, and then the teeter-totter lowers. That's experiment number one. Now, while I set up the next one, check out the Sakura clip. Akuro? What are you doing? You weren't supposed to come back here? Water, water vapor, and ice. Liquid, gas, solid. The three states of matter. Okay, it's time for water experiment number two. 
I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, hi, Calm. I didn't realize you were here. And I didn't realize you were doing experiments. How dare you do science without me? Okay, okay. Sorry, Calm. Take it away. Brilliant. It appears we have the classic water pouring experiment. Wow, this one went out so much faster. Notice how the water exits the bottle with the straw much quicker. That's because in the other one, air wants to rush into the bottle to fill the space left by the emptying water, leading to bubbles blocking the opening. The straw relieves that pressure, leading to a super fast pour. Great explanation, Kong. Do you want to tee up to the final clip? With pleasure, roll the clip. This device is called an Elamon booster. It draws out the hidden abilities in Elamon far beyond their natural limits, granting them enormous power. Thanks to it, Liquid has now hit peak Elamon potential. One property of water is that it can dissolve most anything. Amplified by my Elamon booster, Liquid can even dissolve and absorb another Elamon, such as your pitiful Akuro. <laughs> and when it does, every bit of experience Akuro attained to level up will belong to Liquid. Good. Analysis complete. Elamon Booster, install! Thanks to my genius and the Elamon booster, I replicated Akuro's abilities from the sample I gathered before and gave them to Liquid all without changing modes. You uh, just canceled out steam mode. Uh, Akuro, let's try ice mode. It's no use. Akuro is most vulnerable whenever it switches over to a new mode. If you time it right, you can cancel the change with a counterattack. So he's forcing Akuro to maintain his original form. Huh? Is he absorbing Bubblio? Silica! Use super luminous laser on him again! Ika! No, wait, stop! Don't forget, the chemical reaction between silicon dioxide and sodium carbonate creates two more compounds. Carbon dioxide, and more importantly, sodium silicate. Water glass. Silica! Do you see? Water is the perfect element because it can absorb and create any new ability. Why bother creating a variety of lesser Elamon when liquid is already the pinnacle? And that is the ultimate potential of water. Check it out. For my final water experiment, I'm gonna put this blue water into this yellow water to make it green. Cool, right? This happens because blue plus yellow equals green. Great scientific explanation, Ryan. Well, I hope all these water experiments helped you miss a curl a little less. It certainly worked for me, though I'll admit, I cannot wait for that charming little H2O canine to make his return. Me too, Calm. Me too. Thank you for watching our water experiment video. Remember, always say happy rise up. Bye!